Ever since the release of his film, Interstellar, many film fans have been waiting to hear what Christopher Nolan would be doing next. While we still may not know what Nolan is doing next, but we do know when he'll be doing it. Warner Brothers has set July 21st, 2017 as the release date for Nolan's next movie. But at this time, absolutely no details are available. June 21st, or July 21st, puts the new film just one week after the opening of War of the Planet of the Apes, opening the same day as Pitch Perfect 3, and just one week before the opening of the new Spider-Man film by Sony Pictures. Mark, what do you think of the announcement and the placement for Nolan's new film? I think this story really got me excited about War of the Planet of the Apes. That's <laughs> Released it. And I'm like, all right, let's get that here. For the Nolan movie, yeah, it makes sense that it's coming out in summer, and it it maybe gives us a little bit of insight. We're really going to have to read some tea leaves here, boys, because we literally know nothing about what his next project is, other than the fact that he's very excited about it and he's been working on it for some time. Now, having said that, if it is coming out in the summer, as opposed to something like Interstellar, that tells me that it might have a broad audience appeal, as opposed to being a smaller movie that was all be a really good like Memento or Prestige or something like that. Right. So it see, I don't know if it'll be a known property. I don't think we're going back to Batman anytime soon, but something that people can relate to. But you look at something like Interstellar, which came out in I think October or November. That still was a was a movie that could have come out in the summer. It's about outer space. It's an adventure. It's Christopher Nolan. So that would have made sense in summer. Something along the lines that could be a big box office draw is what I'm anticipating from that news. I'm super excited about this. And think about this. That week, that set of weeks in July of 2017... One weekend, you're going to go see War of the Planet of the Apes. The following weekend, you're going to go see the new Christopher Nolan film. The following weekend, you're going to go see the new Spider-Man film. That is going to be a good stretch of weeks, I think. Now, you know what? Honestly, my first thought when I read the story was that Pitch Perfect 3 is now reconsidering their release date. <laughs> but the more I thought about it, it's like, you know what? The people who are going to be really flocking out to see the next Christopher Nolan film are not necessarily the same people that would be going to see Pitch Perfect 3 anyway. That actually might make it perfect counter-programming for a movie like that. We've seen from Pitch Perfect 2, people want to see the Pitch Perfect stories. They like the music or they like the characters or whatever the reason is. So I think it's going to be just safe. I love this, the, the sound of this. I like that it's opening in the summer because you're right. To me, that tells me Nolan is doing an event kind of film, a tentpole kind of film. I don't think he's doing a superhero film or anything like that, but I think whatever it's going to be, it's going to be grand in scale. That's when you plop it right in the middle of the summer between War of the Planet of the Apes and a new Spider-Man movie, and you must be damn confident in whatever it is Nolan's cooking up. If you're going to drop a movie right in that lion's den right there, I think this is just great for us as film fans. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, I'm super excited. You know what's really fun is that none of us know what it's going to be. <laughs> All we know yeah. is just a Christopher Nolan film, so it's... It's just exciting, and I hope that they don't tell us for a very long time. What if we never yeah. knew what the movie was <laughs> until you pay? We just know we're it's seeing just a Nolan blind movie. ticket, no trailer, You're like a just a black ticket. There you go, it's just Christopher what Nolan, if, son. What it's about like, that for like a, like a movie promotion where it's like it's Mystery Mondays, mm. where you go to your movie theater for a really discounted price, four fifty. Right, you buy. A, in a little sealed envelope, a movie ticket, and it's in that theater. Right. You walk in, and you don't know what movie it is until it pops up. Maybe it's the brand new Marvel film. Maybe it's maybe Pluto small, Nash. Maybe it's Pluto <laughs> Delgo. Or a smaller independent <laughs> film. You don't uh, know, but you're rolling fun. the dice a little bit. Because because <clears throat> one of the big crazes around the Collider office right now that Ray and Dennis are into are those, what are those, the mystery bags? Mystery minis. Mystery minis, where you, like, you buy a box, and you just don't know what toy's in it until you <laughs> get home, open it up, and pull it out. That could be an interesting thing. I and like you that. Find us the new Christopher so we'll Nolan call one. it Grab Bag Mondays, but let's do it Monday night so we make sure Schnepp doesn't oversleep. We want to make sure uh, he gets to the theater on time. Look, I'll, I'll just pass on that. I'll sleep <laughs> through that. I don't like that because then that Mystery Minis thing, you always get the, oh, I got the weird purple sucky one again. <laughs> you get too many like duplicate weirdo well, ones. Well, you know what? I got a really cool vinyl Superman because Dennis, it was a duplicate for Dennis. Ah. He goes, hey, you want this? Like... Yeah, I want that. So that was pretty But the cool. big question is, will anybody be getting a toy of Christopher Nolan's new movie? Is it going to be that kind of film? <laughs> Look, there's a chance that he is a director of such prestige that he can pick and choose when he wants his movie to come out. So it might be he a smaller prestige. thing. Oh, he's fitting in there. See what I did there? <laughs> Damn. I'm keeping this ship afloat, damn it. I was here at 9.30 this morning. <laughs> well, look, Mark, your inception, I mean perception of what's going to be happening. Wow. I'm just, I'm Speaking just really of inception, excited. how about you dream less and wake up more so you can <laughs> get here on time? I like my dream world. 